and welcome back to Feel Good Friday presented to you by Entertainment Scoop. My name is Liv Texera and I'm your host today. We are talking about one of my favorite topics of all times and that is New Year's resolutions and I'm, before you scroll away, I get it. The, the New Year's resolutions talk that you hear is usually this, this very, we can do it, what do you want to do in the New Year, what do you want, blah 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 blah. I am not that person. I really take a no bullshit approach to creating New Year's resolutions, things that you actually want to do. So the way that we do that is we actually break it down into five areas of your life that are the most important for everyone. These are five things that you need to make a resolution in each of these five things if you want to improve, if you want that area of your life to skyrocket or succeed. So the first area, this is obviously something that is talked about so much in New Year's resolutions, but that is your physical body and also your mental health. So it doesn't matter what type of goal that you're trying to create here, whether it's losing 20 pounds, gaining 20 pounds, being able to do a Spartan race or something along those lines that's challenging, picking up a new sport, picking up weightlifting or boxing or something like that. It doesn't matter if it's physical things or if it's mental things, but what we're focusing on here is bettering your life from a physical and mental standpoint because they both coincide with each other and they, they contribute so much to your overall health and your happiness. Number two is all about relationships. Now this is relationships with yourself and relationships with others. So this could be your friends, your family, romantic relations, anything like that. And of course, the relationship that you have with yourself. This is something that easily just goes out the window for New Year's resolutions and nobody discusses, but how are your relationships? How do you want them to change? How do you want them to improve? What type of relationships are you calling in to 2021? Number three, finances. Now this is different than career, which we will get into, but number three is finances. Um, in this situation, do you want to budget? Do you want to have a proper savings fund? Do you want to invest in your own business or other companies? Um, do you want to buy an investment property? All of these things would go under the category of finances. So obviously this year's a little iffy, but how did this year go for you? What went well, what went poorly, and how do you want to change going forward? What are some of the financial goals that you want to set for 2021? Number four, like I said, we would get into, this is the work and career. Now, this could be you starting a business, this could be building out your business, this could be hitting a milestone in your business, in your career, in your job, in the thing that you choose to do day in and day out. What is it that you wanna accomplish? What is it that you wanna become? What is something that you wanna challenge yourself to do within your career itself? And number five, this is my personal favorite. This one is called your bucket list. Now. Obviously this year was a little different than some of the others where, um, you know, maybe some of the traveling or exploring or sightseeing, we, we didn't really do as much of that. But at the end of your life, when you're 80, when you're 90, when you're 100 years old and you're looking back on your life, you're not going to sit there and think about the little minute details, the day to day stuff. You're going to think about the stuff that really impacted you. So that's your friends, your family and your experiences. So. Everybody's bucket list looks different, but the, the point here in incorporating this into your 2021 New Year's resolution is we just saw how quickly a year can go by. The entire 365 days just passed us. That was an entire year of living that we either lived to the fullest or we didn't, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's it's usually somewhere in between. It's it's you know, it's all a balancing act. But the, the point going forward is what are some of the big things that you want to see out of your 2021? Some of the things that when you're 80, 90, 100 years old, you'll look back and you'll say, thank God that I did that. Thank God that I made that move. Thank God that I made that friend. Thank God that I started that relationship. Thank God that I traveled to this place. Thank God that I finally went skydiving. Whatever the case may be, there's a million things that could be on your bucket list. Um, but the point is, as much time as we have, we don't. If you're not doing it today, if you're not planning for it, if you're not looking forward to it, consider it not done. Consider it something that may or may not happen. The, the point of a bucket list, the point of New Year's resolution, the point of goals is to have things written down, have things solidified so that you know these are things that are important to me. As, as we approach the new year, I'm sure that there's going to be so much talk about New Year's resolutions and then we kind of know how they, they fall off. But the 
the biggest important piece of New Year's resolutions is you giving yourself time to realize what matters in your own life. What do you want out of your relationships, your friends, your family, your experiences, your relationship with yourself? What do you want out of your finances? What do, what do you want your financial independence to look like? Um, what do you want your career, your work, your what you're giving to the world, what you're doing? What do you want that to look like? Your bucket list, what are some of the places you wanna see in the world? What are some of the things that you wanna do, the people you wanna meet? That is what New Year's resolutions is actually all about. During this month of December, give yourself the time to reflect and figure out what's most important to you. That's what actually matters. And next week, we will be talking about how to actually make these come true. So I'm so excited for that segment. I'm so excited for this one as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you next week on the next episode of Feel Good Friday. It is presented to you by Entertainment Scoop. I'm your host, Liv Texera. Thank you so much for listening and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.